Okay, everyone, so this is the third part of the software review for the... I love doing this. The Sprint HTC Hero. In which I'm going to be getting into web browsing. I'm going to be getting into the keyboard and YouTube. Um, so, right off the bat, let's go into web browsing. And to dig into the web browsing, I have my little widgets bookmarks, as you can see here. Which comes preloaded on the device. This is part of HTC Sense UI. And gives you a visual display of your bookmarks. So you know, it's a very nifty little widget to have on your one of your home screens. So let's see if I can go into... Let's go into phone.com. This website is very, very massive. It has, a, it has Flash playing on it. It has loads of text, loads of animations, advertisements. So you'll get a real feel for what the phone can do with, with the capable web browser that it does have on there. So that little indicator right there tells you how long it's going to take to load it. You can see this is almost done. Um, the website's already showing. This is over Wi-Fi, mind you. And before it's even done, you can start panning around. You will see, though, that it, that it by default, it loads up zoomed in. So that's kind of annoying. It doesn't um, give you the... You have to pan around to see the whole website. So usually when I go into a website that's a full HTML, I will have to zoom out. And as you just saw, I pinched to zoom. And the text resets to whatever. And you see the little flash animations playing in the background. You see that advertisement up there is moving around. So the browser is very, very capable. The other thing that's good about this browser, it shows you the whole website without any icons or interference from the browser software itself. Except for that little thing up here that shows you what part of the page you're on. You see how that moves with the page? So that, that's very nice, very neat, very handy. I will say though, the pinch to zoom on this phone, while it is great and it does work well, it's functional, it is not as zippy, not as good as you have on the Palm Pre or on the iPhone 3GS. And I say that with disappointment, but at the same time, I didn't expect it to be. You have to remember, this is um, this is running on a slower processor. This is also, this is also not a full... Um, web browsing application, meaning that the stock Android application is also on the phone. This is HTC's own version of it. Don't know if that makes too much sense, but it's not a native app, native browser because you don't find this across all Android phones. Okay, so let's get into some of the menus and stuff here. Okay, so in your menus, you have your bookmarks, you have windows, you, have, you can add multiple windows on here, and your new bookmarks. So let's say, let me show you what it looks like when you add a new window. You click plus, and it'll, it'll by default go to whatever your home page is. And Craigslist, it loaded up amazingly quick, but you have to remember this is just text really on this site. There's not really any JavaScript or any plugins or anything like that. And you see when you pan around, you don't get none of that checkerboard pattern, so that's always a good sign. And let's go into my other window here, which is plugins and everything. You see, I'm panning around. The page keeps up with it. Let's zoom in and pan around. None of that checkerboard. That's very so. You know, it's a very very capable browser. The only thing really that I would knock on this browser is the pinch to zoom is not as zippy as it is on others. But other than that, I mean, it's beautiful. It renders beautifully, it renders correctly. And yeah, let me show you some other stuff on here. So if you go into more, you have all these little nifty options. You can search the page. Where is that? Find on page, which I always find handy. And let's say I want to search for Noah. You see I have three matches. So it takes me to Noah, Noah Kravitz, who, which is the chief editor of this website. And you can do that with just about anything. You know, you want to, especially when you're like on Wikipedia or CNN or something, and you just want to search for something. That's very nifty, handy little tool. You have your bookmarks. You take into this visual bookmark. 
representation of your bookmarks and they're very nice you have a little caption of what the actual website looks like you can scroll through them so that's wonderful and you can also go into list view which gives you a list representation you also have this option on the widget that goes on the home screen you can either look at it in list view or you can look at your bookmarks in the visual way but you know what the visual way looks the thumbnails I should say it, they just look fancier you know gives your phone a more elegant feel so that's good okay so that is the web browser I'm gonna leave that running in the background so you can get a sense of how the phone multitasks let's get into the keyboard so for the keyboard test here we're gonna compose an email okay and this is in portrait mode I'm gonna go as fast as I can let's see how it comes out And that was perfect, I think. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy sheepdog. As you saw, I must have hit a, a few buttons by mistake because of my big old, big old, big old thumbs. And the auto correction just took over and said, oh, I know you wanted to say quick, I know you wanted to say jump. So that's what I'm going to spell out for you. It works wonderfully. I'm not quite sure how their auto correction system works. This is HTC's, not Android's, by the way. This is HTC's own virtual QWERTY keyboard, it's not Android's. Uh, there's some algorithms that go into it. The more you type, the more it gets to know what words you usually use and all this kind of good stuff. So that's just wonderful. And let me show you the autocorrect. And so let's say I want to... Okay, so it might think, oh, well, G is close to H. Maybe you wanted to spell house. Maybe you wanted to spell found, going. Right? Or maybe I did want to spell G-O-U. If I hold and click on this, it'll save it to the dictionary. So next time I spell this sequence, it will cl click that for me. Very, very good autocorrection system. Just works wonderfully. Now let me show you in landscape. The quick brown fox jumped over again. Perfect. Not one mistake. Just wonderful, wonderful typing experience on the HTC Hero. And other little nifty thing about the keyboard, instead of having to go into symbols every time you want to use a question mark or any of these parentheses or numbers or whatever, if you simply hold and press on the key, you see, question mark. Up here you have a little more options, question mark and these little things. So let's say you want to type in Spanish, you can use the accents and everything. It's just very, very capable keyboard. I don't know. I can't think of anything they left out. You also have settings here. You can change the keyboard language, the text input, spell prediction. There's different keyboard types. You can use shirt type. It's it's just a good, wonderful overall experience. And it's multi-touch, which is why you can go as fast as you can, and it'll register every tap. So wonderful keyboard here on the HTC Hero.